So this is Insight Tutorial video number 20 and this is going to give us a demonstration on how to use the network interface tool for sites that have multiple panels. So in this example here we have three panels, panel number one, two and three. So firstly we need to select the panel that we're going to start off on. So we're going to select number one in this instance, then select the edit tab, go to the network interface window and you'll see that at this point in time we're currently on panel one and below here we can see panel number two and three. So effectively what we're saying is panel one will respond to panel two in this fashion. So all of the fire signals, all of the events and the alarm and the alert, all of that will go through and it will also all be processed by panel number one. So if Panel two goes off in a fire, all of them fire signals will be processed, displayed, logged, and a local buzzer all on panel one. And that's the same for panel number three as well. So panel one is our master panel. It will receive all of the signals from the other two panels. So on this particular site, they may want that the panel number two doesn't respond in, in this fashion. So let's take a look at panel number two. So we select panel number two and then go to the edit tab and then back to network interface. This time we've got panel two selected and you can see it's showing us how this panel will respond from panel one and panel three. So again, you'll see that we have all of the activation or events and then indeed how this particular panel will respond to each of them. So it may be that in this instance we're not going to have panel 2 respond from for any events from panels 1 and 3. So effectively it can only send signals to panel number 1 but it can't receive any from the other two panels. So effectively it will just act as a standalone panel. Okay so it may be a, a case that on node 3 or panel 3 they would like it to act as a data collection point for the other two panels so effectively it will log all of the events as a backup so in this case we've got panel number 3 highlighted here's our panel number 1 and 2 and how it will respond so in this case it may be a case that we would like it to not process or display or buzz or uh, print any of the events but we would like it to record or log the events on panel 1 and panel 2. So we just simply check the log boxes for each of the event types for number 1 and the same again for panel number 2. check the log boxes and so effectively panel number three whilst it won't process any of the events from panels one and two it will actually log any of the events that they have don't forget you can find more tutorial videos on the insight website at www.insightfire.com.au